Hi, Bandsaw Crown Music here, coming at you again with another tutorial for VPS Avenger. This time I thought I would build on a tutorial which I gave a couple of weeks ago on my channel regarding the mini stop effect. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, um, I would recommend you go back and watch that one. I'm going to make another sound based on that preset, and I'm also making this available for a free download as well link in the description. Okay, so you're probably intrigued as to what blending is, but what I mean by that is simply mixing together two sounds from two oscillators in a creative way. So just as a reminder, um, here's our bass sound. That's from last time. Remember that uh, this mod envelope here was invoking or tied to the mini stop effect uh, right here which I'll temporarily disable for the moment. What I'm going to do is create a second oscillator, and I'm going to make it a copy of the first one. So an identical copy. So right-click, choose Copy, click on the plus icon, and in the second oscillator window, click Paste. Double-click here. I want to change its name to Oscillator 2. And uh, just turn off this master filter for the moment, um, we'll go to filter one. So both sounds are going through filter one. I don't want that. I want uh, oscillator two to have an independent filter all of its own to let through more of the high frequencies. So I simply click on the plus button here. It creates a filter two. As you can see, it's letting more of the high frequencies through there. And in the panel here, I want to change this from filter one to filter two. And then, of course, we want a different sound on Oscillator 2, which we can blend in. Okay, so how about putting something granular on this one for a change? One shots. I think Western Flute. Okay, so now we have this sound. You can hear it there in the background quite clearly. Okay, the next step is to look in the mixer section, and we can see that oscillator one and oscillator two um, are mixed together fairly evenly. What I want to do is bring the oscillator two, the flute down to a certain volume level, and at certain times have that rise to prominence, or at certain times have this volume higher than this one sometimes. So the normal state is like this, Oscillator 1 is louder than Oscillator 2. And then at some point in time, I want Oscillator 2 to take the prominence and Oscillator 1 to come down. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's put this at 0, the Oscillator 1, to begin with. And let's put this down to about minus 10. So you can clearly hear there that Oscillator 1 has got the prominence. Now then, over in the Mod Envelope section, let's add an envelope. Again, there's the four bars there. And we want that oscillator two rising to its full volume just at the start of bar four, and then going back down again. And let's have that action start to come in at the end of bar one. And let's raise this up slightly. So that's our mod envelope. Okay, so let's attach this mod envelope two to something in our mixer. Click on the six dots. Hold it down and drag to the mixer. And the mixer tab will appear. And you want it to affect the volume of oscillator 2 and oscillator 1. So we click the six dots here in the mod matrix and we drag it over to oscillator 1. Okay, let's go back and check the mod envelope. We want to make sure the parameters down here are very similar to the first one. So you can see on the mod envelope one, it's a loop, and the trigger is the first MIDI note. So mod envelope two needs to be the same. Loop, first MIDI note. Otherwise, the ARP will just continue to trigger this mod envelope from the start, and it won't get past bar one. Okay, now in the mod envelope two, Let's look at what's happening to the sliders over here on the left-hand side as I increase here. So the volume needs to go up on oscillator 2, and it needs to come down on oscillator 1. Let's go 
down a touch further and up a touch further on oscillator 2. So in the mod envelope, what I'm seeing in the mod envelope here is at the beginning of bar 2, start to slowly fade in the volume of oscillator 2 and bring down the volume of oscillator 1. And as you were going down here, bring down the volume of oscillator 2 and that will increase the volume of oscillator 1. And that's how we can blend two sounds together in terms of their volume and mixing. And of course this needn't be four bars, it can be as long as you want. It can be eight, sixteen or whatever. Okay, so let's just try that at a bit of a different rate. Up here like this. Okay, I've put that back similar to where it was before. And don't forget, you can also change the sound on the oscillator as well. I've had Western Flute. Here's another good one, Ship Pipe. Of course, you can put samples here. And you know, of course, that Wavetables are perhaps my favorite thing to put on there. play around with the speed a little bit here to make it more interesting and uh, you know it needn't travel the whole length of the wave here there's a vast difference between where it starts and where it ends in terms of uh, the type of sound which it's going to produce so I sometimes limit that and just make sure by raising this that it doesn't travel all the way that's so that will travel half the way there about here let's just have a listen to that increase the volume And you can see the shuttle is getting about halfway here, and then it's restarting from the beginning there. Okay, today we've looked at blending two oscillators, the, the volume of two oscillators together, to create a unique preset that's more interesting than if you would have just one oscillator going on. Of course, you can add back in the mini stop um, effect to add further interest there. Okay, I hope that's been helpful and interesting for you today. If it has, hit the like button please, and subscribe for further VPS Avenger tutorials. Again, this preset is available for a free download. Link in the description. That's it for this time. I'll see you soon. Until then, stay well. Cheers. <laughs>